All right, y'all, what we have right here is an online hash calculator, and it's going to do what any other hashing algorithm does. Hashing algorithms, they take an input and they convert your input into a hash value. And this hash value is sometimes referred to as a message digest. Okay, and we have different hashing algorithms that we could use or different hashing calculators however you want to refer to it as we have md5 we have shot one shot two and there's a lot more and we'll see them in a few seconds so like we said hashing algorithms are going to take an input such as this phrase here and they're going to convert it into a hash now we use hashes for a number of reasons one reason is to provide obfuscation in other words we use hashes to make things look confusing and not understandable perfect example a password imagine this password is being stored in a database if this password is being stored in a database as is as we're looking at it right now in clear text readable this password is vulnerable to being compromised because you can read it, I can read it, anybody can read it. If it's being stored in the database like this, it is vulnerable to unauthenticated access or unauthentic unauthenticated users. So instead of storing it in clear text, what we do is convert it over to a hash, something that's obfuscated. So instead of storing this, we could store one of these hash values. This is the hash value for MD2, this is the hash value for MD4, MD5, and so on. Okay, wait, there are a bunch of different hash al hashing algorithms that we can choose from, all depending on your environment, your organization, whichever one you deem is more secure is the one you would choose. Now, one thing about hashes that we want to keep in mind, we mentioned it before, hashes or hashing algorithms are one way algorithms. They were never intended to be reversed. Despite the rainbow tables we have out there, hashing algorithms were never intended to be reversed. Now, to make this password a little bit more secure, because as we mentioned, there are rainbow tables out there. Rainbow tables are created by people in order to try and break this hash. They're trying to reverse engineer this hash. They're trying to reverse engineer this hash value. So they're trying to get this, the clear text. So to make this a little bit more or make that process of the rainbow table a little bit more difficult, we can add what we call a salt. A salt. A salt is a cryptographic knot. So this is something that is arbitrary. It's random. For instance, it could just be cat. Two, three, four could be our salt for the day for the week, for this password, however you want to use it. Now, before I hit calculate string values, I'm going to, sh we're going to see why salts are really effective. You see this, we're just going to, let's just copy the MD5 one. We're going to copy this MD5 hash value, right? Password one, two, three, four, five, six was our first input. Now our second input is going to have our salt. Let's calculate the string value. Now look at the MD5 output. Look at this hash value. It is completely different, completely different from what we just looked at. This was the hash value we just looked at. This is our new hash value. 
it has changed drastically. Drastically. That's why we salt. That's why we salt because it throws the rainbow tables off. It makes it more difficult to try and reverse engineer the true, the true clear text value. All right. We know this is the true clear text value. Attackers, the bad guys, malicious folks, they don't know this isn't the clear text value. So we've made it a lot more difficult. And the salt is gonna change. This isn't something that, that should be the same. We wanted to change. We wanted to change.